This is going to be a review of uh, four um, urban work packs that I've uh, used pretty extensively over the past three years. Uh, I've got two REI packs, I've got a Marmot pack, and I've got a Maxpedition pack. I'm going to give you my, my impressions, uh, how I used them, what they, uh, how they performed, and uh, other, other things. I'm going to show you the interiors, uh, how I put things in the interiors. Uh, which ones I felt were comfortable, which ones not so comfortable, and, you know, general features and, and stuff. I'm doing this because I haven't really found a comparison like this of these four packs. Uh, especially the Maxpedition is very popular pack for good reason. Um, the REI packs are extremely well designed, uh, extremely well executed. So they're, for me, they are benchmarks uh, that I use to measure every other urban pack that I have that I use. Um, they're still unmatched in their organizational capabilities. So I'll compare all of those features and, and what the, the other packs lack and what they don't lack. You'll be able to see uh, a bunch of different packs, what their organization is like, how I would use their organization. Um, I'm gonna let you know why I think the RI packs are really the best organization urban packs out there. Um, and why I chose the Maxpedition pack as my new pack, uh, partly because of size. So, one reason, we're gonna have to move this up to the front. One reason why I'm doing this is because um, I did the, uh, the Goldilocks thing. Uh, I used this one first, fantastic pack, the REI, um, too big, too, too big, bulky, and heavy. Um, some of my needs changed. I got a much smaller tablet as opposed to a big laptop. Then I went to this REI. This worked out really great for a while. Switched tablets again, switched some gear. Uh, some of my needs changed. This became a little bit too small. This still became a little bit too big. So I got two new packs that are the Goldilocks packs. They're not too small and not too large. That being about 18 to 20 liters, which both of these are. This one is a little bit small for me on the 11 or so liter side. This one became too big on the 28 liter or so size. So these actually became just about the perfect size. There's advantages and disadvantages to both the Marmot and the Maxpedition that I'll go through during the, during the review. The first thing I'll talk about is some design features. There's certain features, uh, um, this, these are my, some of my personal preferences for features. Um, I need a, a lot of organization in the pack. So since I couldn't get the same organization uh, with the new packs as I could with the REI packs, I found a different solution that has worked out very well for me. So uh, a couple of design features, uh, the back padding, um, the firmer the padding, the better. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of firm padding. It doesn't break down as quickly. Um, the, the really light open cell foam used in the back panels and shoulder straps of many uh, lesser packs, shall we say. Um, they tend to feel nice in a showroom and they don't feel so nice a month down the road when the, when the padding is all broken down and you're going through the padding and things are poking you in the back. So I find the REI packs are, are very good shoulder strap padding and adequate back padding. They've got some, um, some, some pretty good padding and some pretty good uh, stitching on here that gives you a little bit of airflow. That's another thing is, is are you sweating like a pig in the, on your back? Um, the, the side pockets, I don't like the, I've never met one of these elastic water bottle side pockets that I like. You can put a few things in them. But for water bottles and for real things, sometimes I want to use the um, side pocket for to leave extra room inside the pack. Sometimes I'm going to take my pack cover or my rain jacket that I might not want to use at the moment or that I want to keep close to hand. I want to take it and stuff it in there or roll it up and stuff it in, and they just don't work. Uh, I can show you on the REI and the Marmot why I don't like these elastic sides and why the Maxpedition with their drawstring uh, side pockets are, is really a much better way to go for, for all around utility and using it for everything. Um, this is the, 
This is the first one I got. It's the largest. It, it kind of became too big, but there was a lot of things that I liked about it. From the outside pockets, you got this nice outside pocket that's easy to get to. Uh, another slip pocket, you know, a thin slip pocket here. Here's the organizer pockets that these REI packs are really so good at. You got uh, the mesh pocket here. You got some places to put pens. You got to have slots for at least three pens, four preferably. But I slip other things in there too, and not just pens, but but uh, slim things, maybe a slim uh, cable cord or a little slim bottle of uh, glass cleaner or something like that. So they're not good just for pens. So I like more rather than less. You can see that the, the finishing and stitching on this is absolutely first rate. And after a couple of years of use, this basically doesn't show any signs of wear on it. Um, uh, smaller zipper pouches and then tiered, tiered pouches like this are really nice to have. And then another, another thin pouch here. And this actually has some volume here where you can put, put a bunch of stuff here. So it's really a pack that held everything that I could possibly fit in it. And that was one of the problems. I filled it with everything. So it became kind of a heavy beast to carry around. Inside here, you've got another zip pocket. Um, in here, I like this. I really like these elastic um, pockets in here on this stiffened piece here. I used to put uh, spare batteries and things like that. Uh, in here, the main papers and books. And some of the newer ones have two pockets now for tablet and for laptop. Um, with the tablets out now, I wouldn't want to carry both. I, I carry a tablet now instead of a laptop uh, due to battery life and size and weight. So I don't really need two slip pockets like that uh, if, if I ever did. Another thing I like about this is the side carry handle to carry it on the side or on the top. That's really handy a lot of times getting in and out of the, the buses and trains. This is a water resistant zipper on the side where I can access the laptop compartment very quickly, which uh, I also like. A lot of these features I could give up for uh, uh, more compactness and lighter weight. The one, th the one design feature that I didn't like about this is it goes from a little bit narrower at the top width and wider at the bottom. And so what happens is when you actually get all your stuff in it, it all goes to the bottom. You can't, uh, it's more difficult to spread it out vertically, although it has a lot of horizontal pockets and things like that. But then it becomes this big, huge thing sticking off your back. And especially on the uh, train and bus, if you're standing, it's kind of whacking into people in back of you and people can't get around you. So I went for the REI sling version of this pack which was a, a, a much lighter weight, much more compact design. It's got good back panel and again, excellent, really excellent shoulder padding. Um, I used this for a year and, and again, the thing hardly shows any anywhere. So this is one of the really better designed sling packs, partly because of the padding and the shape and probably because this pocket on here is like really, really brilliant. It carried my headphones, keys, and uh, my, my tag and passes just in this little thing right up front so it's always easy to get in and out of. Very, very convenient. So it actually became one of the must-have things on a new pack. And again, you'll see because I couldn't find any other pack in the size range that I wanted that had something like this on the front strap, uh, I went for a different solution that I'll also show you. Not quite as good as this, but still a solution. So on the outside, the slip pocket, to put stuff in here. There's uh, enough volume in there, a little bit of uh, 3D here to uh, allow you to put a bunch of stuff in here. And then pretty good opening. And then again, REI's really well designed, well thought out internal organization features. So you got the, this pocket here is where you got your um, uh, key holder in here. Three very nicely sized. And there's another thing about design. REI tends to design its pencil holders on their organization panels better. They're a little bit larger for today's um, larger pens, for today's styluses uh, or styli that people use for the tablets and stuff. So it's it's a better design to have this. A lot of packs are uh, 
pencil holders are very flat, very thin, and you can hardly get something in there. You can see these are these are actually rounded on here. They're not just sewn flat on here. Um, some more organization pockets again, the tiered pockets, um, and then the main the main body here. Now this has a separate tablet laptop compartment here that's nicely padded all the way around, and so you can access your tablet or laptop separately from the main compartment. That's another thing I liked about both of these packs that my new pack doesn't have, but again, another workaround. I really couldn't quite find anything the right size in the price range uh, with durability and things like that that had these capabilities. So these are kind of alone in their field. I haven't found anything that are as well designed for, for daily urban carry stuff. So. I went and got a Marmot pack. This is the interhauler. It's not the larger trans hauler. That one was too big. This is the interhauler. And I think that they, if they put the size in this, a lot of times they don't anymore. But uh, yeah, it's 18 liters. A number of liters larger than this and a number of liters smaller than uh, the large REI. So it's, it's the Goldilocks size. And upon using it for a while, I found it to be just exactly the right size. The one thing that's missing from this pack, I talked about this before, the larger REI pack, how this gets real thick here. The one thing missing from this pack is any kind of side pulls to pull in the load when it's not filling it up. So things don't flop around as much. That's another one of my requirements, which this met very nicely by having these nice angled pulls. Um, Marmot has really impeccable build quality impeccable design in it. Everything is done like perfectly. So um, here's the outer slip pocket. Again, pretty large, pretty long. You can fit a lot of different things in this outside pocket, especially even like folded up papers and long envelopes and things like that that you might want to carry with you. The, the zipper actually opens from here all the way around, U-shaped. So the whole thing opens just like that. Very, very nice. A um, couple things I found I like about this a lot are the double, the double slips here. Again, I only have the one tablet, so that goes in the back one, but the front one can hold papers and things as a separator for the main compartment. In here, you've got a pretty nice organizer panel, a uh, zip pocket. It's only got two uh, pretty nicely wide uh, pen pockets. Uh, and a little wider pocket here that I actually put cables and stuff in. Uh, I like this two-tiered pocket with the closure here because I could put batteries, I could put loose things in here that I want to keep inside here and they wouldn't fall out. So, and then basically it's just, a, you know, the rest of it's an open compartment. The, um, the real feature though that I like about this in comparison to the Maxpedition is these the padding and the design of these shoulder straps are some of the very best. Um, this quality of padding is really, really excellent. Uh, I don't know if they've got like a combination closed cell foam or memory foam or something, but they're some of the best straps and best shaped straps that I've ever had on any of these packs. Also, the, um, the back panel, this is really the best back panel uh, on all of these packs by far. This is the gold standard, or maybe the platinum or iridium standard, whatever is the most expensive now. The, the, the foam is very firm and nice. Um, it's got just about the perfect gift and padding to it. Um, what it does for its firmness and its pattern is it actually does allow air to circulate on my back. Uh, many of these types of air circulation panels are not designed very well, and in actual practice, your shirt uh, kind of fills it up a little bit and you really don't get any uh, uh, air circulation in your back. But between the design and the firmness of the foam, um, uh, on hotter days I actually did find myself uh, feeling some of the air circulating around my back. Um, this was definitely better. If, if this panel was on the Maxpedition, uh, the Maxpedition would be hands down the, the, the best uh, urban pack in existence. But um, disappointingly, the Maxpedition does not have nearly as good as shoulder straps or back panel as the standard set by the REI or the Marmot. So the Marmot's a really good pack. Uh, the organization lacked up for me a little bit. Uh, but the one thing I don't like about the Marmot, 
the one disadvantage about the Marmot is uh, the side straps, um, they're, they're good, they're well placed, but they're like a lot of side straps. They're a little bit more effort, a little bit more fiddly to use. Uh, I think the Maxpedition has a better design for that, which I'll show you. Um, the other thing is the side pockets. I'm not a fan of these elastic side pockets like I showed on the, on the REI. And I find that of all the things that Marmot did on this pack, these were really poorly designed. Um, they lay flat, right, so when the pack is full, they lay flat and there's very little elastic give. I can just barely fit a regular water bottle in there anyway, but when there is, um, uh, when the pack has my tablet and my other materials in here, I can't get a regular size bottle into this side pocket. Uh, sometimes I use the side pockets to stuff like a jacket or something, and this doesn't accommodate that either. Um, I'm reluctant to put loose items in here to save space because they're subject to, to you know, pickpocketing and maybe falling out. So this is the only real downside of this pack is it, it may fit, you know, really slim bottles in there, but normal size bottles and forget about fitting a quart bottle in here, it'll never happen. So these are not well done, the side pockets. The quality and features were really fantastic. So if you're not such a pocket and organizer bug like I am, then the Marmot Interhauler may be the best pack for you. It's really, really an, uh, uh, an excellent design, uh, excellently executed pack. On to the pack that I did choose is the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon. It's a very, very good pack, uh, very good Maxpedition quality. It's pretty much indestructible. The pack itself is, is quite a bit heavier than, say, the Marmot, but what you get for that is really good quality materials and stitching that is going to be pretty bomb-proof. You can really beat on this pack for a long time, and it's just going to hold up under whatever use you give it. So, for starting on the external features, uh, uh, standard got size that I like and standard fittings. So all of the Molly accessories fit on this, and there, there's a lot of them. Um, one thing I like about this is the side pockets. You see, they're not elastic; they're they're fully formed and they're drawstring. So not only do they fit. Uh, uh, jackets, I can stuff a jacket and things in there, but these bottles, including quart bottles, actually fit in here and you can cinch it down to however you want to keep it in there. Um, very well designed uh, side pockets, really kind of the opposite of the Marmot side pockets. These are what side pockets should be. This is, this is the gold standard here. And um, here is something that I like that all these other packs don't have, again to save space inside, especially for winter and rainy season is the external bungee cord. Now I take my jacket and kind of roll, roll it up and stuff it in its hood like this, and it goes right in here. Put this on. This survives all manner of buses and train travel. Easy to get at, easy to put in there. Um, keeps it handy in case the rain suddenly comes up on you. And uh, saves space on the inside. Safe space in the pockets too. So, very good design feature, something that I like on my Goldilocks pack. Um, Maxpedition does this external compression strap a little bit differently than everybody else. Instead of the side straps, which kind of pull in the tops and the sides, they've got this, this uh, kind of triangular thing. I was skeptical at first, I heard some good things about it, but in, in actual usage, it works pretty well. I like it. I think it's a, a well thought out, well done design where you got one strap that opens, gives you quicker access um, and quicker adjustment than two separate side straps like on some of the others. So here we've got the outside pocket here, a slip pocket. Um, so on the reverse side, these are the things that I find on the Maxpedition pack that are simply not up to the quality uh, set up to the standards set by these are the things I find on the Maxpedition pack that are not up to the standards set by the REI packs or the Marmot packs. The back panel is, is thin, cheap, open cell foam. Anything inside the pack that's not flat is going to poke right in your back. The, uh, I didn't find that with the other packs. Um, the padding on the shoulder straps is thin. There's some closed cell foam in there, I think, but it's pretty thin padding and the shape really saves it. But, but it's thin. This, this is simply not up to the standards set by these other manufacturers. 
Um, you'll see why that's so disappointing in a minute when I get inside the pack uh, and show you some of the features in there. There's a nice organizing feature in there that I like a lot that is basically unusable because anything I put in there just jams against my back uh, and pokes me and is, and is just simply not done well. Uh, here's my answer to the REI shoulder strap organizer that I like so much. It's the Maxpedition Barnacle. Uh, it holds my keys, my bus passes, and things like that right to hand, uh, handy right on my shoulder where I like it. So this is a great little pack, maybe a little bit thick, but it's a great little shoulder strap organizer. Uh, we've got a very nicely designed grab handle here. Uh, I showed you this. So this opens for you over here. Uh, so I've got my key holder here. I've got some organization pockets. There's three pen pockets, uh, but they're sewn flat, so they're not as good as some of the other pen pockets, but they're, they're adequate. The, my things fit in there. Uh, it's a nice little slip pocket for my Microsoft mouse. I've got space for a couple of my little booklets and some cliff bars, things like that. There's some loose things down in here. It's really a nice, uh, well-designed, effective external organizer to keep your loose things and small things out of the main pack bag and organized, easy to get at. So very nicely done. Now, the marmot you saw is a U-shape that goes around like this. So you open it like a door and the stuff inside tends to fall out on that. Whereas the U-shape on this is done and the things don't tend to fall out from here. So I kind of like this U-shape better. Really good access. So there's my normal stuff that I've got in there. Um, there's no tablet sleeve, uh, but I put my tablet in here, sandwich, sandwiched in between some things to protect it. Here's the internal organizer that I like so much. It's kind of suspended in here, so you use this loop to hang a water bag, a water bladder inside here. Uh, another great little feature. Um, but you've got, you've got a zipper compartment, you've got a slip compartment. This is basically unusable. Anything put in here pokes right in your back really hard because of the cheap, thin, uh, open cell foam padding on the back panel. So I really wish uh, Maxpedition had done uh, uh, a little bit higher standards with the back panel and the shoulder straps. It makes this organizer feature unusable except for maybe like thin pieces of paper. So that's my Goldilocks pack. Uh, the, there's lots of videos and tests of the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon answer to internal organization is a VanQuest Husky EDC. Um, honestly, there's a lot of VanQuest organizers. There's a lot of Maxpedition organizers. They're all great. Uh, they're extremely well designed, extremely durable. They're great organizers. Here you can see these are all the loose things. My urban EDC stuff that I don't want loose all over inside. Um, this allows me to put everything in one place in an organized fashion, easy to get at. Uh, the only pack out of all these, these that could do that was the REI, the ginormous one, um, but it's just too big to carry around. And really this is, this is uh, uh, better than uh, even the REI pack. I'll do another video on the Van Quest to show you what I've got in here. It's a little bit of a work in progress. I'll do updates on it so you can see what I started out with and what kinds of things change as I go along in it. There's still a couple things, uh, modifications I need to do of what I carry in it. To wrap up this video review of the EDC packs that I've used the past few years, uh, I've covered design, organization, comfort, and durability of all of these packs. Um, they're, they're all really good quality packs. Uh, just one disappointment on the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon with the inadequate padding in the shoulders and the back panel. Otherwise, it's a great pack. It's, it's my choice, my number one choice. There's a lot of other packs out there. Uh, I hope I've been able to show you a comparison that you're not going to find anywhere else on the internet. I've never seen the REI packs or the Marmot Interhauler reviewed like this, uh, especially against something really benchmarking uh, like the Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon. I hope you like this. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm coming up with uh, some 
new battery tests, uh, batteries that I'm using for tablets and laptops. Um, I've got more hikes to put up that you can see uh, winter is coming, so I'm hoping to get some good winter backpacking trips in uh, if we get a good snowpack. So this is, um, this is the end of my review. Uh, let me know uh, whatever you like or don't like about it. And uh, if you've got any questions, post them on there and I'll answer them.